7 Ways to Lower Creatinine and Stay Off Dialysis Creatinine levels got you a little concerned, you're not alone. But here's the good news. With some simple changes, you can take charge of your kidney health and stay feeling fantastic. This video unveils 7 powerful strategies to naturally manage your creatinine levels and empower your kidneys to do their amazing job. Imagine feeling great, knowing your body's filtration system is happy and healthy. That's what this video is all about. Remember, consult your doctor for personalized advice, but let's unlock the power to stay active and dialysis-free. First up, hydration. It's not just good for your skin, but essential for your kidneys too. Picture your kidneys as the star players in your body's toxin flushing team. Their job? To filter out waste products and toxins from your bloodstream. Now imagine giving them a helping hand by staying properly hydrated. Drinking plenty of water aids in this cleansing process, reducing the concentration of creatinine in your blood. It's like giving your kidneys a performance boost, and who doesn't want that? So, how much water should you be drinking? A good rule of thumb is at least 8 glasses a day. However, depending on your lifestyle and health conditions, you might need more. Always check with your healthcare provider to determine what's best for you. Remember, a well-hydrated body is a happy body. And a happy body means happy kidneys, working efficiently to keep your creatinine levels in check. Next, let's talk food. Yes, what you eat can significantly impact your kidney health. A kidney-friendly diet is a powerful tool in managing creatinine levels. It's not just about eating healthily, it's about eating smartly. Here's the game plan. Your diet should be a colorful mix of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. These foods are not only delicious but also packed with nutrients that support kidney function. They help to reduce the concentration of creatinine in your blood, relieving your kidneys from excessive strain. But it's not just about what you add to your diet, it's equally important to know what to avoid. High sodium foods, processed foods, and excessive protein intake can increase creatinine levels, putting additional pressure on your kidneys. So it's time to say goodbye to those salty snacks and hello to fresh, wholesome meals. Remember, balance is key. While proteins are essential for our bodies, too much of it can be a burden on your kidneys. Opt for lean protein sources like poultry, fish, and plant-based proteins. But always keep the portion sizes in check. And the golden rule? Stay hydrated. It aids in flushing out toxins and maintaining a healthy creatinine balance. So, make your plate colorful with fruits and veggies for a kidney-friendly diet. By making these simple changes, you're not just feeding your body, you're also nourishing your kidneys and empowering them to do their amazing job. Remember, your diet is your secret weapon in keeping you active and dialysis-free. Moving on to the next strategy, managing your blood pressure. High blood pressure can be a silent saboteur to your kidneys, leading to an unwelcome spike in creatinine levels. So what can we do about it? It's all about lifestyle changes. Begin with your diet. Opt for heart-healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Cut down on sodium and avoid processed foods. Regular exercise is another powerful tool. It doesn't have to be strenuous, even a brisk walk can help. Now let's talk about weight. Maintaining a healthy weight can do wonders for your blood pressure and consequently your kidneys. Alcohol in moderation is fine, but overdoing it can raise your blood pressure. Lastly, stress management can't be overlooked. Find what helps you unwind, be it meditation, reading, or simply spending time with loved ones. A healthy lifestyle is the key to managing blood pressure effectively. Now, let's turn our attention to blood sugar levels. High blood sugar, often a result of conditions like diabetes, can cause significant damage to your kidneys. This damage can, in turn, lead to an increase in creatinine levels. So, how do we manage blood sugar levels effectively? It's a three-pronged approach. First, diet plays a critical role. Consuming a balanced, nutritious diet helps maintain steady blood sugar levels. Second, regular physical activity not only keeps you fit, but also helps regulate your blood sugar. Finally, medication can be an essential tool in maintaining appropriate blood sugar levels, particularly for individuals with diabetes. Regular monitoring of your blood sugar levels is a must to keep tabs on any fluctuations. Working closely with your healthcare provider can ensure that you're on the right track to manage your blood sugar levels effectively. Remember, controlling your blood sugar levels is crucial for your kidney health. Next up, a big one, quitting smoking. We can't stress enough the importance of this step. Smoking is not just a hazard for your lungs, but it also poses a serious threat to your kidneys. When you smoke, you're essentially inviting toxins into your body. These toxins burden your kidneys, 
forcing them to work overtime and in turn, leading to a spike in creatinine levels. Moreover, smoking can exacerbate existing kidney damage and increase the risk of kidney disease progression. When it comes to kidney health, the smoke signals are clear. It's time to quit. The journey to quit smoking may not be easy, but remember, it's a journey worth taking for the sake of your kidney health. Seek professional help if necessary, use nicotine patches, or join a quitting smoking support group. Your kidneys will thank you for it, so do your kidneys a favor and quit smoking today. Finally, let's get moving with our last strategy, regular exercise. It's no secret that exercise is a cornerstone of a healthy lifestyle, but did you know it's particularly beneficial for your kidneys? When we engage in physical activity, it's not just our muscles that get a workout. Our kidneys do too. Regular exercise helps to regulate blood pressure, one of the key factors in maintaining kidney health. But the benefits don't stop there. Exercise also aids blood sugar control, a crucial element in preventing kidney damage, especially for those managing diabetes. It's like a two-for-one deal, supporting both your overall health and your kidney function. Now you might be wondering, what kind of exercise should I be doing? The answer is simple. Aim for activities that get your heart rate up, but still allow you to hold a conversation. This could be anything from brisk walking to cycling, swimming, or even dancing. What's important is to aim for at least 150 minutes of this moderate intensity exercise per week. Spread it out over the week to make it manageable. Remember, every little bit counts. But as always, it's essential to listen to your body and consult your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise routine. So, get active, stay fit, and support your kidneys. Remember, your health is in your hands, or should we say, in your feet. Well, there you have it. Seven powerful strategies to lower your creatinine levels and boost your kidney health. From staying hydrated to adopting a kidney-friendly diet, we've explored a range of tactics designed to keep your kidneys happy and healthy. Remember, managing your protein intake and blood pressure can also make a big difference. And let's not forget the importance of controlling blood sugar levels, particularly if diabetes is a part of your health picture. In the same vein, quitting smoking can drastically improve kidney health and lower creatinine levels. Lastly, regular exercise is not just good for your overall health, but it's also a boon for your kidneys. Implementing these changes can make a world of difference in your kidney health and overall well-being. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your loved ones. So, which of these strategies are you going to try first? Let us know in the comments below.